modern is comprised uh, again traditionally from two um, main parts, and then these parts uh, also um, uh, have sub parts. So it's uh, it's usually um, server side monitoring, which looks at the software, the server that is running the systems, and client side monitoring, which attempts to understand the user experience and see issues that uh, arise in their browsers or their uh, uh, client side software. Um, and then you, you can divide these uh, two main parts into additional parts, um, like uh, especially the, the experience, the client side monitoring. Uh, we're looking at uh, real user monitoring or RUM, RUM uh, for short, which is um, looking at users and how they interact with the system. Um, and then synthetic monitoring, which is basically having a system simulate a transaction or behave like a customer. Um, so these are the parts, uh, uh, the various parts of uh, the monitoring uh, world. Synthetic monitoring specifically, is, uh, is, uh, this is where we're at and this is what we're doing, um, is the ability of a machine to simulate users, uh, go through um, a website or an online application or an application in general, uh, behave like a user, collect the data, and then uh, give you a, a very uh, consistent, ongoing, 24-7 picture of what goes on in the application uh, from the user perspective, um, and that gives uh, organizations the ability to uh, be proactive so they can see issues if they happen uh, before users stumble upon them, trend the application on all hours of the day, uh, look at third-party services if they're using them and how they uh, um, uh, behave throughout the day, throughout the year, um, and, uh, uh, and compare yourself to, uh, to industry standard um and, and test from various locations and there are a lot, there are a lot of uh, things that goes into it but it's basically the ability to have visibility into your, your application 24 7 be proactive about it and not have to wait for customers to step on an issue uh in order for you to be able to trend it or uh, uh, to trend the application or, or uh, mitigate or solve an issue so that's kind of what synthetic monitoring does um pretty pretty quickly <laughs> <laughs> And, and it's, it's, it's very close, by the way, to testing. Okay. Uh, so so um, um, generally speaking, testing or pre-production testing, when you do QA and, and, and try to release a, a new version, uh, you write as much as you can because it's hard. You, you write automation tests. Um, and these tests are usually um, hard to write, hard to execute, hard to um, um, analyze just because of the, the, the amount of data. Uh, so it's usually done every three months, every release, every once a year, like smoke tests, etc. Um, and and this is done in order to make sure that you release a software that is actually working with no bugs in it. Um, so you don't you don't want to wait for the users to come in. Um, and if you could do that on an ongoing basis, which again is extremely difficult because of the amount of data and uh, and, and uh, uh, adjusting the scripts and uh, and, and making sure that. Uh, you can also analyze the data on an ongoing basis, which uh, is, is extremely difficult uh, and expensive. Um, but so, so it's not done. But if you could, you would uh, probably do it on a twenty-four hour, three hundred and fifty-five uh, day basis. Um, and that's where synthetic monitoring then would take and, over. And that's where uh, a QA and smoke test will mm -hmm. turn into synthetic monitoring because it's ongoing, in production, trending, alerting, etc. Um, so it's 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 two different sides of Kind of the same goal, mm -hmm. uh, but much more challenging in production and ongoing basis.